Questions 44 to 47 in the ASA red paper. Question 44. According to table 1 and figure 1, indoor would most likely build up in cells of. So um, to answer a question like this, you have to really understand what's going on in the diagram. Um, so basically what we've got is we've got this pathway where we start with this sort of precursor supplement. Um, might uh, There might even be a couple of supplements upstream of um, this one, uh, anthranilic acid. And basically, um, the pathway will transform anthranilic acid into indole glycerol, glycerol phosphate, et cetera, into tryptophan, um, which uh, is the direct uh, cause for growth in these bacteria. So um, usually what happens is in um, the bacterium salmonella, um, it will grow on uh, unsupplemented medium. So basically, this pathway... Um, you don't need to add any extra um, supplements. Um, it'll work and result in growth. Um, but um, we've got these series of mutants where there's kind of a break. Um, so like in each of these steps, so for example, the step going from anthranilic acid to indoglycerol or phosphate, um, there might be a break in that um, process. Uh, so basically what we get is um, a bunch of mutant bacteria which need supplements um, to bypass that break. Um, and thus ensure that um, tryptophan is still being produced. Um, so for example, say this step didn't work from anthranilic acid to IGP. Um, what would happen is if we gave um, the, a bacteria that had this step um, being uh, dysfunctional, if we gave it lots of anthranilic acid, nothing would happen because we wouldn't be transforming it into the IGP. But if we gave it lots of IGP, the IGP would still be converted to tryptophan because um, step four and step three aren't broken. Um, so therefore, uh, we'd still get growth. So in this sort of um, scheme, if step two was broken, um, own, uh, anything downstream um, uh, that's supplemented to this sort of bacterium would result in growth. So if we gave it IGP, indole, and tryptophan, we'd still see growth. But if we gave it anthranilic acid, we would see no growth. Um, okay, so according to table one and figure one, indole would most likely build up in cells of. So if indole was building up, that means that this step is broken because um, indole can't be converted into tryptophan and thus meaning that um, any anything upstream of it, um, so if we have like lots of anthranilic acid being transformed to IGP, um, the IGP would be, IGP, sorry, would be um, transformed to indole, but the indole would have nowhere to go. So we get this buildup of indole. So we basically got to look onto, um, uh, we've got to look at table one and figure out a uh, couple of mutants which, uh, in which, uh, tryptophan uh giving sorry giving the bacterium tryptophan results in growth because this step is broken but um giving it indole giving it igp giving it um anthranilic acid none of that results in growth right because this step is broken so um so the mutants that correspond with uh that sort of pattern is uh one six and seven um as you can see if you give it tryptophan it will still result in growth but um, if you give it any of the ones upstream because of this broken step number four um we won't get any growth so uh the answer for question 44 is a um so onwards to question 45 on the basis the basis of the information provided which one of the following is the most valid statement uh Okay, so um, this kind of just tests your understanding of basically what's going on. Um, I think if you kind of understand what uh, what was sort of explained in 44, um, the answer should be pretty obvious. Uh, you'd basically just sort of go through table one, make sure everything sort of makes sense. Um, and if you do that, um, you'd see that it corresponds perfectly with what figure one um, is sort of presenting. So uh, that immediately rules out C and D, um, that figure one could be potentially incorrect. Uh, as for A and B, um, well, the answer is A, um, because it doesn't contradict table one. I mean, it's the simplest statement. So often in the GAM set, you want to pick that statement because um, there's no sort of chance of it being wrong. Um, but uh, just have a look at the question, uh, uh, sorry, at answer B, that it's correct because a single enzyme catalyzes step three and four. I mean, um, there was no mention of that in the stem uh, and there's nothing in the table or figure one to indicate that. So B is also incorrect. So um, question 45, 
For, for question 45, the correct answer is A. <clears throat> so question 46, according to table one and figure one, the defect in uh, try three could directly affect only step. All right, so um, try three, uh, if we look at the t at table one, um, try three has, um, it, it will uh, result in growth if supplemented with tryptophan um, and indole. But if um, anthralic acid or IGP is supplied, then there'll be no growth. So the step that um, sort of corresponds well with this is step three. Um, so if step three was where the mutations occurred and the pathway no longer functions past that, uh, sorry, that um, conversion step doesn't function, well, what would happen is um, indole and tryptophan would still result in growth because obviously tryptophan will, but um, indole will still be converted by step four, but um, IGP won't result in growth because it can't be converted past this step. Um, and same with anthralic, uh, a, a, a supplementing with anthranilic acid because whilst it can be converted to IGP, it also will not go past this step. So, um, so step three is really the only potential place for this. Um, uh, sorry, is the only potential uh, step in which a defect could occur for try three. So um, thus the answer for question 46 is C. <clears throat> for question 47, um, well, this is sort of a little bit uncommon for the game set. It's a memorization rote learning style question. Um, basically, you just need to sort of know uh, each of these facts before you go into the exam. Again, I don't think the game set has many of these at all. Um, probably under like three, in, in my opinion, at least, um, out of the 110 questions. Um, so I wouldn't be too worked up about this sort of question, but um, in in essence, the answer is A, that uh, uh, a Salmonella uh, typhonarium, uh, being a bacterium, would ha have a cell wall. Um, B is incorrect as uh, bacteria have no membrane bound organelles um, which rules out the uh, mitochondria and C uh, well bacteria can re reproduce um, well not only just asexually so uh, yep so for question 47 A is the correct answer